All right, take two. I really blew the first time I did this, so I'm going to try it again. And I've only got 10 minutes to do this, so I'm going to talk a whole heck of a lot faster, and hopefully Miss Hay can help you out. So anyways, uh, good morning. It's November 17th, day five, and a Monday. And I don't have much of a voice. Um, it cracks all the time, and it's like I'm going through puberty all over again. So what you can see over here, um, you're going to be good for Miss Hay. Uh, you have a quiz tomorrow on everything that you've done so far on integers from adding and subtracting to multiplying in order of operations. You got that? Good, because it's tomorrow. Ten questions only. <laughs> Did I say quiz? First thing you're going to do is you're going to correct your quiz from last week. Uh, the answers are there. I'm pretty sure that they're correct. At the blog after this movie, um, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to uh, correct this and there'll be a picture. You just click it and it'll stay on the screen and you can correct your test. Give yourself a mark out of 10. Give that mark to Miss Hay. So she'll call out the, the roll once you've done your correcting and you will then give her your mark. Now, you haven't marked your own test. The neighbors marked your own test. If you correct your quiz after you've done it, she will change that mark and add one. Not just, you know, put the right answer in, but you have to show that you've actually done the work. It's worth one mark. It makes a big difference for some of you. So, you're correcting this. Homework. I'd love to go over your homework questions. I would, but um, I don't have them here. So I'm going to go over these questions that I made up in my head. Hey. All right. Order of operations. What's the most important thing that you do when you deal with order of operations? You box off. So we're going to box off these questions. Now, if I'm smart enough, I'm going to have a red pen this time because I had like a black pen and I'm going to use a green pen. All right, I'm going to box this off. I'm going to do it two different ways just to show you what can happen. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to box off like this. That's multiplying. That's an order of operations sign. That's multiplying. Brackets are kissing. And finally, one more. So we have three things, three boxes. Only one integer can come out of each box. Got it? Good. Each integer will be put into diapers underneath. Negative 6 times 2, shut up. Yes, sir, it's negative 12. 8, sorry, 2 times 4, 8. What kind of 8? It's a positive 8. And 8 times 1, what kind of 8? It's a positive 8. Let's put them all in brackets, because, like, what the heck? This is freehand, folks. Don't laugh at my brackets. Especially that one. That's a bracket. There we go. Plus, carry down the sign, carry down the sign. Negative 12 and positive 8, subtract negative 8. Well, we never subtract, right? We always add the opposite because it's the easier thing to do and it makes a heck of a lot more sense. So now we rewrite the question. Now, let's see, I'm rewriting a question. Uh, oh, man. And standard form, right? And then a negative 8. Hmm. Oh, and an equal sign. Got it? Got the answer? Oh, 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 oh. Zero pairs. I saw them. Did you see them? I did. Hey. These two guys cancel each other out. Have eight, oh, eight. You're left with negative 12. Like it? I did too. I'm watching the time. I gotta move. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna do this one just a little bit differently. I'm gonna show you how you would box it off once and do the work, and then I'm gonna box it off a different way. First multiplication I see. Six times two. Negative six times two. Uh, negative two times four. Negative eight times one. That's what we did in that last question, remember? Nothing different whatsoever. Watch what I'm going to do now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to erase it. I'm going to hit the pen. I'm going to hit the blue pen this time. 
I'm going to box it off just a little bit different. Tell me what I did different. Okay, that's supposed to be a good box. Sorry about the bad boxes. Deepest of apologies. What did I do different? Anybody? Anybody? Hands up now. Hands up. Alea? Your hands up? Yeah. Um, I included the back. It's, yes, this is Adrian's Law. Those of you in 817, this is um, Adrian's Law. He invented this about three days ago. So let's see what we've done here. Okay, I've included the sign in the box. A positive sign in the box is really positive one times. That's always easy, right? It's, it's, right? That's really hard. This thing here is a negative one times. Can everybody multiply by positive one and negative one? I think you can. All right, so let's do this. Let's see how many integers come down and if we have to actually worry about that standard form stuff anymore. Negative six times two, negative 12. Remember, one thing comes out of each bracket. Positive one times two times four. Hey, shut up. Really? It's a positive eight. I love it. Negative one times eight times one. Uh, one times eight plus one. One negative sign. Mel's rock pile or Ronnie's law, Pratt's law. That means I'm now a negative eight. Hello, my zero pairs. Bye-bye. You're gone, which leaves us with an answer of minus 12. <coughs> Excuse me. It doesn't matter which way you do it. With the, with the bracket, boxing it in with the sign or without. I've always used the box with the sign. This makes my life happier. Here's the question. I'm going to do one this way, and here's the next question. I'm going to do it the other way. Okay, so I'm going to do it the way that you saw it before. We will box our multiplying and leave the order of operation signs the way they are. 8 times 1 is 8. 5 times 4 is 20. Uh, negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. Now, because we haven't brought the signs down, I need to put diapers on these. Sorry about the bad diaper there. And now I need to pull down my sign. That's a negative sign there, a negative sign there, and a negative sign there. Now, we all know a little something special about multiplying and subtracting and integers and all that stuff. You add the opposite, right? Let's add the opposite. We don't subtract. We add the opposite of positive 20 is negative 20. The opposite of positive 8 is negative 8. Rewrite the question in standard form. I've got 12, negative 20, negative 8. This here, that's negative 28. Have 12. <coughs> Excuse me. Negative 28, have 12, negative 16. Look at that extra step. I'm pointing at the screen. You can't see me pointing, but you can see. I've only got a minute and a half. i got to talk real fast here. All right. Boxing off with signs. Red pen. Keep the sign. Remember what that positive is. Okay. This is a negative 1. This is a positive one. One thing comes out of each box. Negative 6 times 2, negative 12. Negative 12 times negative 1, 12. One thing's come out. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times negative 2, negative 16. Times positive 1, eh, negative 16. Finally, negative 1 times 8, negative 8. Negative 8 times 1, negative 8. Have 12, O 16, O 8. Have 12, O 16, O 4. O 4, O 8, O 12. Need to complete the rest of your book, page 6, all the way up to 18. There will be extra questions. I'll be at school briefly tomorrow just to put it there. You will have more work to do. Your quiz deals with everything we've done so far. 
don't forget to be a scribe.